Would you like to use your echo without having to use your voice? Maybe you have speech difficulties and you can't use your voice. With the Echo Show, you can now use touch to access certain features. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use the new feature, Tap to Alexa. But first, I want to say hi, my name is Craig and this is my Tech Talk. Here I do tech tips and reviews along with a weekly Echo series. If you check out the description, there's links to the Echo so you can learn more about them or buy one. I've changed the name of my device to computer, that way I don't trigger your device at home. If you're using that as your wake word, please hit that mute button, that way you don't get all frustrated. This is week 30 of my 52 week Echo video series. If you've watched them all, thank you very much. If you're new here, thank you for watching this one. This feature is not available outside the United States. It is a new feature that came out two days ago, but it's expected to roll out to other English speaking countries soon. Please keep watching this video. That way when it does come out, you're ready. Amazon released this feature as an accessibility feature with people who have difficulty with speech. Amazon is also trying to improve on more accessibility features by rolling out captioning in other countries. If you're in the UK, Japan, France, India, New Zealand, Australia, or Canada, you can now add captioning to your device. I have a feeling that Tap to Alexa is gonna become very popular so people don't always have to speak to their device. This is also in line with what Amazon did with the Fire tablets by making them Echo devices when you plug them in. With the Echo Show, they're taking that opposite approach by making it more like a tablet by adding icons. The first thing that you're going to want to do, and if you're not familiar with this, an easy way to get to the settings is to scroll down. You'll see settings. We'll want to scroll through and see accessibility. Now if we scroll down, you're going to see Tap to Alexa. We are going to turn that on. Hit continue. Now if we swipe down and go home, you're going to find a new icon shows up. That lets you know that Tap to Alexa is on. Once you tap there, you're going to see icons show up. Now these icons will access common features that you're used to seeing. So for example, we hit the weather one. And in Agora Hills, there's an excessive heat warning in effect until Friday. Let's stop that. We could go back to home, tap the screen again. Well, there's our timer. We can set a timer easily. We can back up to our icons. If we hit music, it'll pick something Here's based on what we're used to. Like. We could set alarms easily. We want to hear our flash briefing. In CNN News. Good morning, I'm Allison Camerata. If we want to skip to our next briefing. From Reuters TV. From Reuters well, we could just skip to TV. the Here next the one. Top stories. Let's look at our shopping list. You have three items on your shopping list. Avocados. It. Cheese. I don't know what it is, but we can just swipe that away if we want to get rid of something. And at any point, you can also tell the device to go back home. We can look at our traffic, our commute. Currently, traffic on your commute looks pretty clear. We can look at our to-do list. You have two items on your to-do list. Make video. Lunch. Well, we're already doing that. Let's get rid of that. Tap again. We do have more options over here. So let's look at movies. Here are a few movies playing near Agora Hills today. And if it wasn't for me explaining this, you could start to see that you can do more and more things without actually having to speak to it. What's also nice about this is you can also ask for things just by typing. So if we hit the little keyboard, it's going to bring up this intuitive keyboard so that it will help you not have to type everything out. Let's say we want to add something to our shopping list. And you'll see that I can tap some of the words that show up and list. Now if I hit send. Milk added to your shopping list. And it shows up right there. So you can add things without having to speak at all. Let's add something else to our list. And see, a lot of that stuff you could just select the words because it is intuitive. Lunch added to your to-do list. Now I have two lunches on there. Want to delete something? Just swipe it away. Another function that's pretty cool is the add function. You can do common requests and make an icon that lives on the screen. So let's say 
I want to listen to classical music. Play classical music. It is taking some of the requests that I've already asked for and kind of predicting them. If I hit the next button, I can pick an icon. Let's go with the music icon. And I'll name this. Let's just name it classical and hit finished. And what we'll see here is there's a new icon called classical. Now we can just tap that. Here's a station for classical music, classical focus from Amazon Music. You can use this function for smart devices or other things that you might do frequently. So I made one called Office Out. I'll show you how that works, but let's make a new one called Office On. If I hit next, I could pick a light bulb and we'll just call this Office on. You see how quick that is because it is intuitive. Now to utilize this, we got to first turn off the lights. So I'll use my office out okay. Now let's turn the lights back on. And there you go, it triggered all okay. my lights. And it turned on my TV because that was part of a group that I had written on my phone. So to make the initial group, you might need to go into your phone to group up the items that you want. Now what I found in playing with this is it can't do everything that you type. It could do most things. You also can't necessarily make an icon for everything that you wanted to do. Like I tried to make one to access my calendar and it wouldn't let me, it got confused. And I think the calendar didn't work because of the fact that I can easily touch the touch screen, touch the event that's listed, and my calendar will come up that way. There is so much you can now do without even having to speak to your device. I like the direction that Amazon is going by trying to make the device more accessible for everyone. I think this feature is going to catch on because of the ease of use and not having to always request stuff, but rather just touch the screen. Please let me know your thoughts on it or if you have any questions. I do have a question for you. Do you see Tap to Alexa something you would use? If so, how? Let me know in the comments section your answers. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If this is the first video you've watched on this channel, please consider subscribing and hit that bell to be notified of future videos. If you'd like to help support this channel, check out the description. There's an Amazon link in there that if you use it, Amazon will kick us back a little. If you really want to support this channel, bookmark that link and use it on your future purchases. I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.